This video is about building the prestige model of the Static Grass King Static Grass Applicator. Static Grass King makes two Static Grass Applicators, the Economy Model and the Prestige Model. Information about the Economy Model is in a link below the video. Look when convenient. In this video, I will focus on the Prestige Model which has more capability than the economy model. I'm going to take you through the entire process step by step so that you can have a static grass applicator that looks like this. What we're going to build here is that contained in the brown box. You will supply the wire for and the vegetable strainer the wire for, the grounding wire that goes to the alligator clip, and the power supplies. Note that I'm only showing the vegetable strainer. There's a link below to a page that shows the other attachments that you can add, flock box, and other things that are very useful. So do look below to go to the page to find out how versatile this kit is. Now, before you do anything, read all the supplemental instructions and cautions that came with your kit. This shows the parts you get. Make sure you lay them out, look at them, and understand what's there. Put them aside, we'll use them as we go. And you also get some pieces for a box that will glue together. Now this is what we're going to do. This is the inside of the top of the box. We're going to insert the female adapters, receptacles, into the box. We'll screw them in place. We'll insert the switch that snaps in place. We'll trim the wires on the anion generator or negative field, static field generator. We'll trim them and we will crimp some of the solderless connectors to the end of the wires. I'll show you which wires get connectors and which don't. Then we're going to connect them up. There's another step to add a second power supply. I'll cover that later. But this is what we're going to do. It's very simple. You can look at this figure many times so you know what it should like, look like. Fit the box together and glue it with a white glue. Put it aside, let it dry. We're not going to use it for some time. We'll just insert stuff at a later time. Add the female receptacles for the banana clips and the switch to the top side of the box. Screw them in place with the silver screw strings, make them pretty tight. Note when you add the switch that there are a couple screws embedded in little plastic tubes. Point those tubes towards the outside of the box. The reason is you'll want to be able to reach them easily with a screwdriver. You can see that in this image. Use only the plastic switch supplied. Do not substitute a metal switch. There's a very high static field generated. There will be feedback and your unit will burn out or won't work at all. So use the black plastic switch. This is an image of the anion generator. It's a 15 kilovolt DC anion generator. Puts out a lot of power. Got to be careful with it. You'll burn it out if you don't handle it correctly, and it'll give you a heck of a shock if you know, you're not careful. I've annotated the picture to show the, uh, the wiring, how it should be done. There's a thick black wire that goes to the grass applicator container. Then you, there are two leads that go to your power supply. 
red and black. The green will be your ground wire. You'll attach this to the surface on which you're adding your grass. Now we're going to trim these up and add uh, solderless connectors. You don't have to trim them. That's up to you. But trimming them makes it much easier when you put the unit in the box. The lengths and more are in the written instructions that you can download in PDF format. The link to download that is below the video. Note, however, that you add solderless connectors to the two black wires and the green wire. You do not add one to the red wire. That will get inserted into the switch. You now have to make a short jumper that goes from the switch to the power in. Take a piece of wire. The red wire that you trimmed is probably enough. If not, you'll have to supply a piece. Use a piece that you use for your uh, grass uh, container and attach a clip to one end. Then what you do is wire everything up. This is the way it looks. That short piece you made goes to the red clip, uh, input clip in the uh, upper right and goes into one side of the switch. The other side of the red goes into the second side of the switch, screwing down tight. Then on the left, that's your, that's your field side. The uh, thick black goes to the red and the green goes to the black. This kit comes with an auxiliary power supply connection. You don't have to use it. If you wish, you can use this just as it is. Put it in the box and you're ready to go. But if you wish, you can go ahead and add the auxiliary power uh, connection. I cover that in a second video. But like I say, you're ready to go as it is right now. The video for part two will be in this end screen and do check below for more information about where you can get this kit and other things on Static Express applicators. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment. Have a good day and have a good life.